I don't know if that's like actually. What a beautiful time to be alive. How big is your dick? Right. We need to fucking introduce this. Welcome to the one year anniversary special edition. Suggy's back. Who the fuck is Suggy? <laughs> Ah, ah, I've got a fucking dead leg. Well, do you know what we need to do? We should do as top 10. Yeah. Right, top 10. And top then 10. I can pad this out with all old footage. Right, we're to, oh, we're doing top 10 of the places we've been. Yeah, top right, 10 of the places we've been. Get the fucking... I feel like it's just my head. Yeah, I know. I don't know whether you're actually in that frame. Get in. Well, right, I'll, Maybe I'll you're not in it and I'm in it. I'm definitely in it. I, well, I am. I'm in I know. I'm, I can feel right, I'm well, in it. Right, okay. Um, but then right, you might be right. too far that way. Why, what the fuck? Over. Exit the roundabout onto Otley Road, A65 for two miles. Right, so that obviously wasn't working, so we're recording this on a different fucking day. You ended up going live, which we want to do a lot more. Yeah, so if you want to like see us fuck around more, we usually go live on Facebook every now and again. So literally all the videos that we have made so far, we are going to do top five locations. Oh no, we should give the reason why we're doing yeah, this. Yeah, it's supposed to be for our year anniversary, which, which was, was like, like two, two weeks months ago. ago. <laughs> Cabaloo. Send us some pictures of your kids. Naked. Naked. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, top five explores. This is actually going to be fucking harder than I thought because it means we have to, like, Think correlate them. Should right. I put a pen on paper? Durham. Two, three. The place, Durham, is, is nice. Right, Durham was, like, on our first ever, like, road trip. Yeah. Like, on that trip, we, st we were going to go to the... The uh, casino. Oh no, we, we went there, we got to Middlesbrough and decided not to bother. That were it, yeah. And the way we got in, was, it, it was awesome. It was, but we dropped down into these big, like, boilers or whatever they yeah. are. Something for storing something. And then we have to, like, pretty much crawl through a tunnel for, I don't know, maybe 20 yeah, meters. The way we got out of the tunnel was good as well. And then you have to I get know. up through a little hatch, which is... Really small. Really, really small. Um, but then he gets he gets through the thing and then literally it was just it was just awesome. It was just fucking overboard of I remember emotions. Like, I was the first person up through the hatch. You won. And like I saw it all and then like everyone's reaction when they were coming up through the cool fish. Oh it's red light. It's number four. The noisy was good because of like how like it, it was really big up. Uh, the the architecture was really cool and it was like a really like beautiful building. It was off that list of like world sites that yeah, you had to top visit. The landscape. And yeah, the, the, that, there's another castle yeah. next door. Yeah, it's just yeah, that it's was like like outstanding. Huge. Flying the drone around the top bit as well, while me and Johnny were stood in the tower. That was cool. I'll, when I'll talk, it's like, you know, when you go, when you go to... When you're uh, getting teeth pulled. No, you? no, no, you know when you were at primary school? It's like when you, you get... went on a, like on a, a school trip and then you had to come back and write about it. It's... That's Al's explanation of noises. This, this week I went to the shop, we got some lemonade. It only cost I 49p, it... it was shit. I thought it was very cool. <laughs> also, the, we found some footage online of it when, uh, when, it, was like when it was back in the day. Open. Maybe we can splice a bit of that into it. Alright, I'll splice that in now. It was owned by a French family first. For the and then, insane. when the Nazis invaded, it got taken over as like a Nazi outpost. And then it was a children's home for people who, I think, worked for a rail company. I think it's right. Right, so <laughs> third, <laughs> power station. That whole place was fucked. Coming up to that power station, there was like, there was like walkways over the road from like, it was a massive in, industrial yeah, place. Yeah. In fact, we never showed them that video of going, us going down that street, so I can put that in now. That town, that whole city or town or whatever it is, was just fucking Belgium. disgusting. Belgium, the country, man. That place was massive. Like when, we, when we eventually got up onto the top floor, I didn't feel right in my feet. I've got rickets. Exit the roundabout onto Broadway. <laughs> the floor that you could get onto that was not the ground floor was literally like five stories up. Yeah, there was no like... It was huge. Two, What's next? Onto the next. Door. Door. We'll go to door. Why, you know why door was, was abandoned, don't you? I do. Because doors. the port of Antwerp tried to buy everyone's house in door because right next to it to knock it all down and extend the port. The so they bought everyone's house, exit onto but Ring Road, some people Ring Road like Farsi, refused. A6120. Do you fucking mind, Shirley? Shirley yeah. is fucking beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> like, they tried to buy all the houses in the, in the town, but people refused to sell it. So like, they bought some, and then some people like were not moving. So they owned all these houses that they couldn't knock down because people still lived there. 
and they've just not been able to do anything with it. Yeah, like, it was so <laughs> weird. Like there was just like families walking around with the kids naked. <laughs> <laughs> like all being really friendly and the police were even there patrolling the streets. The Belgian police. Stern. 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 Like we were all hung over because we went out in Brussels the night before. I, I, that, that is the first time I've ever like nearly like I've been like falling asleep while walking around. It was, it was, it was tight. It was awful. My back was, I think your back was hurting. My back was sleeping hurting. in the car My as back well. was hurting from laying in the back of it. You two got a good night's sleep. I slept on the floor every oh, night. You're the youngest, though. You know the rules. Yeah, the, the thing I loved about my place was literally we, we didn't even cover it all. You've got every house there. It's not like an estate in England where every house looks exactly the same. Every house is different. Every oh. single house was different and quirky and looked completely different in its own way. So literally, it was just you go, you take your pick, and have a look round, and they're all different. They're all really nice houses as well. And all the roofs are flat, so you can walk from house to house just from the roof. Yeah. And they're well, balconies. Even had a nap on it was room. awesome. And you got amazing. You got jam all over that guy's floor. He said that general, that general the bitch army left all that jam on my floor. I don't, I don't get this. Fucking Airbnb! Did he complain? I told you this! He said we left jam on his floor! I don't, I don't <laughs> even use jam! I know! What was his name? Uh, I don't know, Skurloff or something? <laughs> Andy Skurloff? I don't know this. <laughs> Camelot! My first ever explore was Camelot. I still think Camelot was my favourite. I don't know what everyone's beef is with Camelot. I don't know. Like, we, we were in the... I can't, I can't remember where we were, but we got talking to some other people that were exploring this place with us, and they were like... They were from Chorley. We were about when we were at the church. And we're like, oh, where are you from? We're like, Chorley. It's like, oh, Camelot's over that way. And you're like, yeah, it's shit. Don't bother. The good thing about theme parks is, especially a themed one, is there's so yeah. much... There's so Space. much stuff. Yeah. Just to look at the and it's and it's unique. When you go to a theme park, you only can ride. You can only go on the the rides and eat shit and walk around and pretend to be happy. But when you're actually at a, a, a theme park where you can do whatever whatever you want, whatever you want, right? Like you can climb on the roller coasters. In a quarter of a mile, slide left I hope you enjoyed all the throwbacks we slid in here. And now we're gonna uh, show you a glimpse of next week's episode. Sweet. We're gonna crash. That, that was a real day. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god!